Coach, first, congratulations. And I guess let's let's start with the defense. It seemed like that was that was the story tonight. Yeah, Chuck. I mean, we you know we spent um, you know the last forty eight hours uh, really talking about number one Molinar and number three Stewart and trying to eliminate their field goals attempted uh, and their free throws attempted. I thought we did a great job. They took four free throws between the two of them. Uh, you know, five of, of 14, uh, you know, the, what they combined in scoring, you know, was, was a phenomenal job by multiple people. Um, you know, obviously the forced turnovers, I thought our, you know, backcourt and front court traps were really, really good. Um, it got the ball out of their hands and other people shooting the ball. And, and then defensively on the backboards and offensive glass, I thought we were phenomenal rebounding the ball against a really, really physical, uh, you know, rebounding team. You mentioned the trap, and that's been something you've done the last few ball games. Other guys get the ball to the timeline, and, I mean, you're jumping out and trapping them. It, it, it seems like it puts them on their heels just from the – almost the beginning of the possession is, is, is that the, is that the point, I guess, from doing that? Yeah. I mean, I think it really, like if, you know, there's certain teams that we want to do it with certain teams that we don't, but uh, we just did not want, you know, number one Molinar or number three Stewart to, to get attempts. And we were willing um, to have other people score the basketball for them. And, and um, I thought our guys really did a great job, you know, not just the two guys involved in the trap, but the three not involved in the trap all have one and a half men. And I thought, you know, they did a good job, but it was obviously Chuck a game of runs and, you know, they, they went up early and, and uh, you know, we came back with that 20 to two run and, and then had an 11 0 run, I think in a 10 0 run. So, um, but, but really just the active hands, I mean, you know, 10 steals and, 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 and the turnovers biggest difference. And, and even though we turned it over in that first half, they were not live ball turnovers. It was travels, which mean they had to inbound the ball, uh, a live ball turnover is much, much different than a, you know, than a dead ball turnover. Well, toward that end, the points off turnovers, you were, you know, you, you won that 25 to four. And, and I think about Saturday and, Stillwater, there were some turnovers you forced early, but you didn't turn them into points. Tonight, it seemed like every time you forced a turnover, you got a basket out of it. Yeah, I thought we did a really good job of capitalizing on that. And then, the, obviously, the fast break points at, at 16 to 4 was was a huge factor for us as well. I thought that, you know, Connor did a great job, you know, on the back line, um, you know, with three blocks again today. And, and, um, I thought, I, thought, I thought we really played well. I know we were really, really ugly um, the first half from, you know, from, a, from a shooting standpoint, um, but we didn't settle in the second half. We only took seven, you know, seven three balls, I think, in that second half, so we did a good job of, of being a little bit more aggressive and, and attacking the rim a little bit more. You know, I look at your starting guards, Coach, and I, I, I look at the rebound totals, eight in the ball game for Davis, seven in the ball game for Moses Moody. You get three rebounds from Jalen Tate. Uh, you've always emphasized rebounding from your guards. Talk, if you would, a little bit about that and the importance of that tonight. Yeah, I thought it was really important, Chuck. I mean, one of the guys that I, you know, worked for in a, in a summer All-Star game many years ago um, with, 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 the, with the Nike All-Star team was Hubie Brown, and he always talked about you know, the guards being great rebounders, it, it, it covers up a multitude of things. And we don't want our guys to leak out. You know, even even Note had had three defensive rebounds. So our guards did a good job of folding back, double blocking out. I mean, one of the, you know, one of the drill segments that we had in practice the last two days was, was for our guards to go down there and double block out. Uh, number 35, Smith, and number 24, Adu. And Adu had one rebound. Um, you know, one of the fiercest rebounders um, in our league had one total rebound. And it, and it wasn't just our, our centers that had that impact. It was our guards folding back and double squeezing him on, on shots that went up for them. And finally, you've, you've played, I think, three games in the last six or seven days. You'll get an extra day this week to pre uh, prepare before the weekend or maybe just to get your legs back before the weekend. Talk, if you would, about that and, and just – the fact that you've got a little extra time this week before you play Saturday evening. Yeah, no, I mean, I think for us, it's, it's uh, you know, some banged up bodies, obviously Desi, 
uh, got a good stinger. We think he's going to be fine. Uh, Jalen Williams really gutted it out. I mean, he is, you know, his deep bone bruise is really, really bothering him. Uh, and then Moses Moody did not practice yesterday at all. His ankle, uh, he hurt it on a, on a, on a blockout drill um, in practice. We didn't know until game time, really, what he was going to be able to give us, if anything. Um, and I thought he gutted it out tonight as well. Um, Moses should be fine. We hope Desi's fine. And, and, and obviously Jalen, um, you know, has a little bit of time to get ready uh, before our Saturday game. Well, Coach, terrific tonight. Thank you for being with us. Thanks, Chuck. All right. Eric Musselman joining us from just outside the Razorback locker room. All right, now we'll turn it over to uh, members of the media. Curtis, uh, get us started, please. Hey, Coach, when you fall behind like that early and it, it seems like nothing's fallen, how impressed were you with the defensive effort to keep you in striking distance and then – just the resiliency of the guys to, to battle back and get things going offensively also. Yeah, I mean, as bad as we were, you know, offensively, I mean, we, you know, like you said, we were still, you know, right there. Um, and, you know, we didn't shoot the three ball very good at all, only making two, but we also didn't settle for a bunch. So um, I'm just really proud. Like I, the, the, the Mississippi State team is toughness, rebounding, um, and I thought we went toe to toe tonight, which which is huge. I mean, um, our ability to rebound against good teams, um, you know, tonight I think it showed that we can do that. We can win a game ugly and and grimy and and ugly. Scotty. Yeah, Coach, you mentioned rebounding. Mississippi State came into this game, I think, number six nationally in offensive rebound rate. Um, what did you think of the, the collective effort on the defensive class? And you, you mentioned that Adu only had, had one board. Yeah, and I think the big thing, Scott, is, is Adu only had, you know, he had zero offensive rebounds. So the, the amazing thing about this stat from a rebound, we hold them to eight. Our goal was to hold them under nine. And they shot 27% the first half. In the second half, they shot 33%. For the game, they shot 30%. So there was a boatload of misses and we, you know, we corralled, you know, the majority of those. So, um, I mean, we, we put over a hundred defensive rebound signs all over our locker room on the players cars. Um, we plastered them all over everywhere because we felt like that was something we had to do to give ourselves a chance to win. Bob. Yeah, uh, Eric, uh, they, they cut it to five there with about 10, 10 minutes to play, I think a little less than 10. And then Connor goes on like a 7-0 run on, the, on his own with a couple of dunks with some good assists and drains that three. So what do you think of that that mini run he had, just his play overall? Yeah, I mean, a couple is, you know, a couple, couple people probably wondered if Connor was tired, uh, but he's got incredible stamina, um, you know, for somebody – uh, his size and, and um, you know, I, I'm really proud of the way that Connor played. I mean, he went toe to toe inside. He didn't back down from anybody. I thought he played with incredible toughness. He goes six of 11 from the field. Um, what he did is not going to show up the impact he had in our traps. Cause really he's the key to our, our traps. Um, he was phenomenal. And then, and then just as a group, just to continue to reiterate, they missed 34 shots and we had 30 defensive rebounds. And then what, what's going through your mind when you're one for 17, you've had, I don't know, eight or nine turnovers. I mean, it, it, you know, I mean, it's what, what's going through your mind and how'd you guys write the ship? You know, I guess is my house going to be locked and I can't get in tonight because Danielle <laughs> tells me to go sleep somewhere else. That was, I was thinking of that and, and obviously, um, you know, it's just frustrating when you can't you can't make a shot and then you turn the ball over and we had travels and uh, <laughs> another slow start. So just frustration, really, Bob. And then what did you guys do to, to, to I mean, you're ahead by halftime, you know? I thought we did a good job of, of getting, getting out of our half court sets and getting out of some of our movement plays. I thought they kind of squeezed us and strangled our, our movement uh, multiple uh, option plays 
And I thought we just went to straight pick and rolls. We picked apart mismatches. We knew who they were going to switch with, and we just isolated them, to be honest. And, and, then, and then we started playing our drive and kick game. Okay, I got, a, I got a couple more, but I'll turn it back to Mike. But yeah, Coach, Connor's kind of struggled from three-point land since the start of conference play. How big was it to see one of those fall there in the second half? Yeah, I mean, I, I, I mean, I know Connor's on deck here with you guys. I mean, he'll tell you I have not told him one time not to shoot the ball. I see him in practice every day. I saw him, saw him last year shoot the ball. He's an incredibly gifted shooter. Um, you know, so I know it's unique for for someone over seven foot to to, to launch threes, but uh, we continue to have great belief in him. He stretches the floor for us. He's a constant threat for the other team out there. Um, you know, and I have faith that, that at some point he's going to knock two or three of these down in a row and it's going to open up a game for us. Randy. Eric Devo started tonight, but still provided a huge spark. He played over 35 minutes. He scored 10 points. He had eight rebounds. Uh, had a couple of assists. Talk about the role that Devo played tonight come, uh, as a starter as compared to coming off the bench. Yeah, I thought Devo was phenomenal. I mean, you, you know, you think that Devo played 36 minutes and Moses Moody played 38 minutes. That's a lot of minutes for a freshman, uh, for two freshmen in a 40-minute in a game. That's a astronomical amount of minutes. And, the, and those guys deserved it. Uh, they played like it. Um, obviously with Desi being hurt, I didn't want to jeopardize him going out there and putting him in a position where he could get it banged up again. Um, but Devo gives us energy and a spark. Now I, I'm still, you know, frustrated with how we started the game and that's all five of those guys that are on the floor. So we've got to go back. We've got to watch tape. We've got to figure out why offensively, we struggled so bad those first four minutes of the game or first eight minutes of the game, I should say. But defensively, that group was off the charts great to start the game. So, um, but we got to figure some, some, something out lineup wise where we can get off to a better offensive start. Bob, follow up. Yeah, Eric, I got to ask you, what, what'd you say on the technical? Did you think it was deserved? Do you think maybe that was a quick whistle on you? No comment. <laughs> you, you never cut. And then, um, do you think I know every game's its own uh, game or whatever? But do you think you guys drew on the Auburn experience? You're down 19, come back today. You're down 13, kind of keeping the faith, kind of thing. I think so because you know we kind of played the same defense, Bob. Um, you know we were able to to get a lot of steals in both games, cause some turnovers, and get the ball out of out of primary scorers' hands. So I do think that. Um, you know, we had a short turnaround too, and, and it was an emotional loss. Like we went to Stillwater, you know, believing in ourselves and thinking we could get a win and they had a great crowd. And, and um, you know, we just, you know, we have a possession where we, you know, we could win the game. Um, and then to bounce back after, you know, play on a Tuesday instead of a Wednesday after a Saturday tough road game and we bust back. And um, I thought the guys had great preparation and were, you know, yesterday, on a Sunday is normally an off day and they came back and battled through some stuff. And then Moses twists his ankle and just really impressed with our preparation on Sunday and Monday. And I heard somebody, I don't know if you saw this on the radio or TV, but that Smith had to get his ankle looked at at halftime. So you don't have Desi Smith. We know he's, he's hurting. Williams is hurting. Moody's hurting. I mean, and yet you still, a lot, you know, several of those guys had big contributions, you know, yeah, no, I think I think they were great. And, you know, Moses and I met after shoot around and with our trainer, you know, I asked why they wanted to meet and Moses wanted to make sure I didn't play him 40 minutes tonight. Well, I, I got him three minutes, two and a half minutes rest. So he should be happy. I'm sure you've heard A&M uh, had to postpone their game tomorrow night. They've got COVID issues or um, that's on that Saturday game. Maybe he's a little bit in doubt. What are your thoughts on that? I'm going home. I'm watching Texas A&M. Our team is preparing for Texas A&M. Um, you know, that's, that's what's on our schedule. That's what I believe will happen. We look forward to playing another game. 
um, on Saturday against Texas A&M. Okay, th thanks, Eric. Thanks, Coach. Appreciate your time. See you guys.